Hi, my name is Henry Sagerman. This is Developing Sierpinski Arrowhead Curve. So this is yet another self-similar surface which comes from this process by which you um, create a fractal curve as the limit of a sequence of polygonal approximations to that fractal curve. Um, in this case the uh, Sierpinski Arrowhead Curve. Um, so this is uh, most similar to um, the uh, developing Tur dragon curve example. So for the Tur dragon curve, um, so a single uh, straight uh, line segment gets replaced by uh, three line segments that, uh, so you, you, you have the zigzag pattern, so you turn by 120 degrees each time. Um, for this guy, you have, uh, let's see it here, a line segment is replaced by uh, three line segments, uh, sort of half of a hexagon, um, where the turning angle is by 60 degrees rather than 120 degrees. Um, so, so they're really very, very similar um, rules in a way. You know, one one line segment becomes three, the angle is 60 degrees, 120 degrees, um, but you get uh, very, very different um, uh, results. So, whereas the uh, Tur dragon curve, it's, it has this rotational symmetry, um, and you get a, a, a space filling uh, result inside of a, um, a sort of region of the plane with a fractal boundary. For the Sapinski arrowhead curve, you get the uh, Sapinski triangle. Um, so it's a lot sparser than, uh, than the space filling examples, of course. Um, a couple of other things to say. Um, so uh, really, I, I, well, so I've cut this off a, a little early. I mean, so really there should be another uh, level to it where there's a straight line segment here that becomes these three um, these three line segments, half of a hexagon here. Um, but if but but if I included that, I mean, really, really half of the sculpture would be relatively flat and boring. Um, and so I decided to cut it off a little early. Um, as with the uh, developing Tur dragon curve, because this this uh, you're going from one to three, um, there's enough space to put in um, this extra horizontal bar um, uh, between the layers. And again. Uh, if you didn't do that, then you'd have sort of large gaps, which wouldn't work so well. And it has the the additional uh, benefit of uh, making it look like it's got a face. It's got a sort of eyes and nose kind of thing going on here. And of course, the face repeats everywhere because the surface is self-similar. And so there you go. It's the uh, developing Sapinski arrowhead curve.